Now let's talk about, and this should be 23. Now let's talk about delta H reaction and stoichiometry, which is our grams to moles to moles to grams type of calculations. Um, and we're just going to start right in with a problem. It says when 12.4 grams of oxygen are consumed in the burning of propane, how much heat energy is produced? And you can see I've got the same reaction we've just been talking about. And I've got my delta H on the same line. This is negative, meaning this is exothermic, which means that we can put heat energy positive heat energy as a product. And our unit of energy is joules or kilojoules. And um, we'll talk more about that. Now, uh, we need, so this, so just like always, if we're given 12.4 grams of oxygen, we're gonna turn it into moles. But let's talk about what we do with the energy now and how we use energy as a unit conversion factor. So I like to think of the number 2044 kilojoules is like a coefficient. Stay on page there. Like a coefficient. Then what do I mean by that? I mean that whenever you do a mole to mole conversion, you use the coefficients, right? So uh, one mole C3H8, five moles O2. And so that's exactly what we've done before. We took this number and the one that's implied there. Now we're gonna incorporate energy. When we incorporate energy, I'm going to say, this is like the coefficient. So it does show up in mole to mole conversions. So it does appear in mole to mole conversions. And I know it's not a mole, but that's why I'll put mole to mole conversions in, parent in uh, quotes there. So let me show you what I mean. So in our particular problem, we're gonna be interested in uh, how oxygen relates to energy. So we're going to do 5 moles O2 to, well, I got to put my minus sign back in, 2044 kilojoules of energy. So it's like this number is the coefficient, meaning it shows up in these conversions. And we could also do minus 2044 kilojoules of energy for 5 moles of O2. We could then, then you can see maybe that there's so many conversion factors here. How about minus 2,044 kilojoules of energy for four moles of H2O as well. And we can do the three moles of carbon. Anyway, you, you can do any and all combinations, something that we're familiar with, okay? Now, you'll note that this is listed as minus 2,044 kilojoules per mole. And that is true if we're talking about the propane. So it would be minus 2,044 kilojoules of energy per one mole of propane. And that's what it's talking about. It doesn't mean it's per one mole of oxygen, it's actually per five moles of oxygen. So this per mole only refers to when there's one mole of something in your reaction. And we always put it there, that's just the units for this. Um, it is a little confusing, but uh, that's one thing we're gonna have to remember, is that uh, it's only strictly per one mole of something with a one coefficient in it. Shoo, I know this is a lot to take in, but let's uh, take a breath, just one. And now let's actually tackle the problem. Our problem says when 12.4 grams of oxygen are consumed in the burning of propane, how much heat energy is produced? We're gonna start with our 12.4 grams of oxygen, and oxygen is O2 in this case. And immediately we're gonna change that into moles. We have our periodic table handy. We know that oxygen is 16, so two times 16 is 32.00. 
grams of O2 per one mole. And that's our, our G to M. And so, well, let's see. So we went from G to M to E is our next one. And I don't necessarily suggest that we create a new acronym for this, but our next step is going to be, it looks like this one. Because we have moles of oxygen, we're gonna to need to get rid of. And we wanna figure out how much energy is there. So we're done there. There's only two unit conversions instead of our usual GMMG three unit conversions. And we end up with our final uh, number, which is, let's multiply this out, 12.4 grams divided by 32 times 2044 minus. I get minus 792, so three sig figs is good, 792 minus. And you'll note that the units are just kilojoules there. Kilojoules, uh, we could also write, but we don't have to, produced because it's negative, that means that energy is being produced or given off. And you'll see that for this one, our units of moles actually cancel out. And that's important. So delta H of reaction will be kilojoules per mole. But once you end up with a calculation like this, it'll just be kilojoules, and you can see that your units cancel out. Let's do something similar now for how much energy is produced when 16.4 grams of propane are burned. We're gonna start with our 16.4 grams. I must have been hungry when I made these notes because I'm always thinking about grilling up some uh, food on the grill uh, with some propane. Mm. Uh, all right, now I do remember that it's 44.09 grams of propane per one mole but you can always figure that out using molar masses. And let's see here, looks like I did write it. We have one mole of C3H8 to minus 2,044 kilojoules, and that is kilojoules per mole, which we already talked about. And this time we get 16.4, Wait a minute, did I do the five there? Well, let's fix this one. So uh, times 2,044 minus, some fools. Something went wrong there. 16.4 divided by 44.09, there we go. Times 2,044 minus. I get minus 760. And that's just kilojoules, and that is energy produced. Let me revisit this one. 12.4 divided by 32 times, yeah, I forgot to do that, 2044 divided by five. Yes, so please change that number on your page. I apologize for that, for getting the wrong answer. Uh, make sure you update that number to minus 158 for this problem. Slightly different reaction, but same idea. It says calculate the heat released when 1.67 grams of sodium hydroxide are reacted. Um, let's see, we've got an acid-base double replacement neutralization reaction going on here. And you'll notice that I've given it to you completely balanced with the delta H value. Let's see, start with the number from the problem, grams of sodium hydroxide. Oh, I think I'm still only going to need two uh, conversions here, but we'll make a long picket fence just in case. Uh, always convert grams into moles. For this sodium hydroxide, I've got uh, 22.99 plus 1.008 plus 16. 
39.998, which I'll round to 40, zero, zero grams. Now, remember, it's per mole, but our process, or at least our thought process, is this is 111.7 kilojoules as a product because it's negative. And then it is still negative, but it's going to be this much energy released for every two moles of sodium hydroxide. So it's actually minus 111.7 kilojoules per two moles of sodium hydroxide. And that gets us to our heat released again. So 1.67 divided by 40 times 111.7 minus, and don't forget to divide by two, minus 2.33. Let's try that again. 1.67 divided by 40 times 111.7 negative divided by Yeah, I guess that makes sense. That should be about no, 1.67, 1.67. Well, let's do it another way. Times 111.7 is 186 divided by 40. It's 4 divided by 2. That should have a minus sign in front of it. So that is, it's minus 2.33. 2.33 kilojoules as my final units. And it's exothermic, so that energy is released. I'm going to allow you to work this problem on your own, and I'll check your answers when I go through your lecture outline.